September 29, 1970, a proton lifts off from the newly constructed launch pad that was discovered earlier by the Kermerikans. This is happening a day before the Kermerikans would sneak over and plant an experimental tracking device. During this launch, the payload was a mass simulator that was intended to double as a booster to send a Soyuz spacecraft to lunar orbit, intending to reduce the cost of shipping Kerbonauts back and forth between the Mun and Kerbin, allowing the Zvezda lunar base to be manned and occupied permanently. After the mass simulator was placed in orbit, it was intended to wait a couple days to launch the next vehicle, which would be Soyuz 5. However, something appeared out of nowhere that caught everyone on the planet by surprise. An unknown spacecraft later revealed to have the moniker on its hull of Voyager was spotted in orbit, appears to have some sort of advanced propulsion system. So, Soyuz 5 launched on October 1st with its new directive, rendezvous with Voyager and learn anything that is possible and recover a piece of it for later study and experimentation. It was later revealed that this research was actually instrumental in the first launch of the Kraken Drive by Dr. Von Kerman's research assistant, Dr. Cochran Kerman. This launch went almost perfectly. There were a few minor problems, but after booster separation, everything went smoothly. The minor problem that was aforementioned was the vehicle was launched at a very odd angle. The inclination of the new launch pad resulted in the vehicle having to do quite the dogleg maneuver, resulting in the Soyuz having to burn quite a bit more fuel than anticipated. Good news, the margins were safe. Upon breaking into orbit, it began lining itself for rendezvous with the booster to boost it to Voyager orbit. Upon rendezvous with the Proton upper stage payload, they docked and prepared to fire the main engine to increase orbital altitude to effect rendezvous with the mysterious spacecraft. Due to the docked module being intended to send the vehicle to Mun orbit, there was plenty of fuel with which to do this rendezvous with the unknown spacecraft called Voyager. This vehicle was quite interesting in shape and quite hard to rendezvous with because it kept dodging the vehicle. It was later revealed that this vehicle could possibly have been manned, though as by what is unknown. 
Upon rendezvousing close enough, a Kerbal went in on EVA and began flying over to the vehicle with the EVA pack to effect a extraction of information and possibly equipment from the vehicle. This was intended to be returned to Kerbin for analysis, but this vehicle did not return to the Crescent Shore. It actually ended up crash landing in Kermany, which is a neutral country on this planet, meaning both sides got the information from this research, resulting in no one having a greater advantage, unlike what the Crescents had planned. Upon climbing back in the capsule, the engine was lit and the vehicle hightailed it back to Kerbin to attempt to prevent the vehicle from chasing them down and removing the part that they had captured. During re-entry, something went wrong. While they were aiming for the shores of Crusha, they actually began the re-entry way too late due to an engine problem and separation not going as planned. The capsule ended up actually re-entering in a nose-first orientation which was later corrected and they ended up landing tail-first in the black woods of Kermany, a neutral state which has allegiances to no one and shares everything they have. Upon landing, a Kerbal climbed out, planted the flag of the Union of Kerbal Socialist Republics in an attempt to hold on to their prize that they had captured. This was not successful. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts on what you want to see next. I release a new video every week for your viewing pleasure. I am the Astronaut. Let's fly.